Got two games picked out today. Not sure about either of them really. So I think I'm going to start with <coughs> this Children of Silent Town prologue. It would be a point and click. And it's 2D, so we'll see how this goes. I'm, I notice I'm dropping frames too. Get at you. Hmm. All right, you do that. Cat. 
It was Lucy, Lucy, Lucy. Someone is calling me. So I stand up. apparently. I'm, I'm already really close. Why can't I just be right here? But no, Lucy's got to get closer. Lucy, don't turn around. Dip. 
here we are. You see, about time you showed up. You had to be at home a while ago, am I right? Yeah. It's all Sky's fault. It's over the garden. Why don't you help Mom, honey? Let's cook some tasty dinner and then we go to bed early. Why we gotta go to bed early? Don't make us come looking for you next time, okay? Go help Mom now.
so we can still get the sound effects but not the uh hey squinty look here look at that kitty look at him he looks like a fox actually clumsy she said the cat was clumsy it's her phew luckily mother's liar didn't fall to the ground Makes a really nice sound. Got a note. That looked like a stamp. Lucy notes down every unusual sound she hears into her diary, creating memories. Answer me this. How do you note down a sound? Once a melody is complete, you can use it in your adventure. Um, oh right, the fire. Scatterbrain. Got some wood. There we go. Here's some crackling. I guess the wood was enough. I need salami now. Could you fetch it for me, Lucy? It's in the cellar. Oh, I gotta go in the basement. Be careful with the stairs and use a candle. You will need some light. Got a candle. Here it is. I should light it up. In the fire. Who went with the candle? It's a candle holder. I gotta look at it first before I can put it there, apparently. You telling me that little candle put off that much light? The room is lit now. I can go downstairs without dying. That cat's gonna get some fish. Dad says that if we dry fish, it will last for a long time. He knows a lot of stuff about cooking. Squinty, don't you even think about it. <coughs> he made a little noise. Did you hear that? Salami. Not easy to grab them when they're up so high, but the cat likes ham as much as we do. Back we go. Do I get to take the candle? He's gonna leave the candle down there to burn. Now that I think about it. Squinty, leave that fish be. Shoo. Meow. Oh, he mad. What a pest. You talking about Luca? It's been two days already. His father didn't want people to know, but it's crystal clear. Oh no, this didn't happen... In a long time, will we ever be free? Don't be a fool. It will never end. Do not forget. This is why we have rules. Dear, nobody can forget that. Never. Not even for one night. How can you say such things? It's been a long time since silence fell on this village. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. But it happened, and it will happen again. We were caught off guard. What will his father do now? See? Uh oh, she heard something she wasn't supposed to, I think. I'll go see him tomorrow. Let's try not to think about it now. Are they talking about another missing person? Lucy? Well, no, nothing. 
I heard some noise before. Is Squinty in the cellar again? He was up to no good, wasn't he? Anyway, do you have the salami? Nice, this tastes so good in here. What's left now? Yes, yes, some salt. It's on the shelf, Lucy. Can you please grab it? Then you can go play. Thank you, sweetheart. That's too high up. How can I grab it with this? Need your help, stool. I don't know why she's got to talk to her stools, but okay. Squeaky, stop! <laughs> Lucy! Thank God you're okay. You got so scared. Give me, it was too high for you. Don't worry about dinner. I can do that. As for you, little pest, get out. Poor little guy. Go out and play. I'm on it. Sure. That's bad luck, isn't it, right there? Where are you going, Lucy? The sun is setting. You should stay home. But I'd stay in the backyard while it's still light outside. I swear I won't go far. Okay, deal. When dinner's ready, I'll call you and you come here immediately. Sound good? Alright, just don't go too far. The village is not safe after dusk. She spilled salt and the village isn't safe after, after dusk. Bad things are gonna happen. Molly. It's just for a few minutes and it's just in front of the house. Sometimes you are too soft. Stupid cat, he made me fall. Now I'm going to have a bump on my head. The woodworker is really good at his job. I think Mom's liar is his work. Bump is no good. No bump, huh? gives her head character if she's got a bump, you know? Every morning, the woodworker goes to the forest to collect wood. Everyone in the village relies on him. I would like to learn more about the forest, but he never talks to anyone. This is where the woodworker works. Better not touch anything. The woodworker always leaves his tools around and then gets angry if you touch anything. Well, it's too heavy for me. Maybe if you worked out. I played a little harder with that ball that just deflated. Sometimes when we play hide and seek, I slip in here, assuming there's no woodworker around. Once he threatened to lock us in. Sounds like a grumpy old man. The woodworker stocks his logs here. Woodworker is crafting a new instrument. I wonder how it sounds. It's probably not ready. It's gonna sound horrible. Yep. Uh, well, not what I expected. Mom's liar is way better. Who would even want something like this? Yaga. 
some creepy old lady in your backyard. Not like these cowards whispering all the time. Believe me, child, they're all crazy around here. I am an old crazy lady. You can trust me. Right, Furball? You can trust this cr old crazy lady. Wait! Here, take this. A, a rubbish pendant. You see, you'll have to be very, very brave. Understand? Uh, what do you mean? Ah, uh, dumb old lady. You'll never give in, right? Pisk. She's a witch. Perhaps she's a really a tad crazy. This stuff has been here since they tried to make a flower bed. I think they will never finish it. I call it the scrap track. This sign shows the way to the well in the square. Let's see. Let's go in the shed. It seems that this handle might fall off at any moment. It really came up. I got a weird handle. Bell! It won't work. There's no clapper. And it won't work anymore. Nope. Nope. Guess we're going down further where we're not supposed to. said not to leave the alley. Let's see if the cat's got anything new to say. Oop. It's like a kind of like a chicken coop there. I've seen the cartoons. Maybe, maybe I can use a handle. It seems to snap right into the bell. There we go. I learned, I learned a new note. Dinner's ready. Come home. Come in. She's gonna get snatched. That's what this is about, right? Squinty, come with me. Squinty. Oh, there he goes. Where are you going? Come back here. Squinty, it's dark already. Cats go on adventures all the time. Just wait for him to come back home. Squinty! Squinty, please. Yeah, so much for rules. Uh, where, where are you? She's cold. Was that Squinty? Is that you? 
don't, I don't like it here. Uh oh. There's something out there. Who knows what happened to Squinty? Look at that little guy. He's right there. Squinty! I thought you were gone. I was so worried. And you've been here the whole time. Bad, bad cat. Stop running away. Yeah. Lucy, dinner is ready. We were just waiting for you. I'm coming. Lucy? Yes? always lived surrounded by that forest. Actually, the prologue. So someday we'll see what happens and what's going on in that area. All right. Let's see. Let's see how far I can get on this one. I'm trying to play my own game and I get spooked by the music, huh? So my music scared you or your game scared you? 
Dark Fracture Prologue is meant to be completed in a single session. So if I quit mid-game, all progress will be lost. My music scared you, huh? <laughs> You'll be alright. You'll be alright. It'll be okay. His broken mind leaked his fractured soul into a dark, endless labyrinth. In the eternal night, he longed for respite from the loneliness, only to realize he had never really been alone. Theodore, he was left behind on a car seat in a cab seven years ago by a passenger before me. His enigmatic smile caught my eye, and we have been best friends ever since. He does not say much, but is a great listener. I always wonder what he is looking at. Specimen report. I always assume that working on a body for on a body farm research facility would be exciting. Turns out it's mostly filing reports and checking on dead bodies one after the other. That's cool. I'm fine down on the bottom. Personal medication. My psychiatrist tells me it is used for severe mental illnesses that do not improve. I've been consuming these for several years now. Common side effects which I'm experiencing are drowsiness, low blood pressure, blurred vision, and dizziness. I did already try like 30 minutes of this one before, but I didn't finish it, just so you know. And I don't really remember it at all either. Key to the office. Oh, I can't remember the uh, the keys in this one either. keys. I just don't remember what it is to pick them up. This is the last photo of James that I took. It brings up so many memories. I really miss him. Alright. Ah, crap. That's what it is. That's the office. It's a mouse on the bottom there. Where's my lighter? You can't see it though because my head's in the way. That's the office key, huh? paper, ass napkin, butt polish. I can call it what I want, but undoubtedly gets more ass than me. 
because you know shit happens pills in that drawer right there. These pills. Scissors for defense. I don't know if it'll let me pick them up. More pills. Is it this drawer? This one? This one? Yeah, it won't let me pick them up. Get Stuffed Potato Chips are my favorite brand. Yummy and crunchy as fuck. Too bad this bag is empty. He's working at a body farm. See the lighter? Found the key after my last cigarette. I left the lighter inside of my locker in the changing room. My colleague Norman was being his insufferable usual self, and I just could not deal with his bullshit anymore, so I went for a smoke break, then left my lighter behind. I should go grab it. So I have to go in the dark and try to turn the light on. I think. Because I'm pretty sure the chaining room is out this way. There we go. It's fine. into the demo instead, but I don't know. 
apparently it is demo though. It's the changing room, though. Poor gate is definitely o the only dental solution I've got when I'm broke as fuck. All right, then. bag of chips. Conditioner, hair conditioner for special cases when sword role playing in mom's basement does not do the trick. Use with caution. Well then. That's my locker, and it's locked. Slide it on my office keychain. Uh, home sweet home. Kind of. Edward, by the time you read this, I would no longer be in your life. I have changed my phone number, taken my belongings, and will be staying in a hotel for a short while. I left your keys on the desk. I won't be needing them anymore. I just cannot watch you do this. I loved you, Edward. I still love you. And that is exactly why I can't stomach seeing this. This wallet was given to me as a gift. It is loaded with memory. Some good and a few I rather forget. Looking at you, Cynthia. medication. The administration here requires all staff to consume this pill daily with strangely specific directions. They claim the pill is for staying mentally alert on the job and the daily ritual centers our thoughts or focuses the mind or something to that effect. Well, I better do it the way they asked. There's all these cameras around. It feels like they're watching my every move. Key for the exit door leading to the body farm upstairs. I've got a long shift to go, so I cannot think about leaving just yet. I will definitely get fired if I do, and I really need to keep this job. So 
let's see. Okay. Better go take that pill. daily dose again. Pill after pill, day after day. I stop caring about what this dubious medication is for. After all, I am still alive. As for the side effects, well, I cannot really tell, because it's not like I have always been stable to begin with. What's odd is that they strictly require me to consume it in front of the bathroom mirror. I wish someone would tell me what was really going on sometimes. Something shady is going on. What do you mean, what did you just walk back into? I can't fix my plumbing. Not even mine, really. Put a work order in on that, if only. Can't take my pill in those mirrors. brought him into the ladies restroom I was trying to see if there was a mirror I could take my pill in front of. That already? Specimen report. It's a very interesting case. She's still up there in one of the outdoor cages. I will need to check on all of them when the rainstorm passes. What's a bit weird? That I went into the ladies room?
I'm just going to skip the pill tonight. We'll see what happens. Throwing it away. Screw this. I've thrown it away. Hold on. Gotta preserve my sanity to get through the game. Screw this. I've thrown it away. Guess we shall see if they even will even notice I did not take the daily dose. I'm going to smoke in the aisles of the store. There's a step stool and an ashtray I left in one of them, my secret spot. It is one of the only places not recorded by the cameras, and I can always chill while smoking there. So we're going... The aisles of the storeroom. So let's go find that storeroom. Unless I need to grab the smokes out of my office, and then we're SOL. cigarettes. Back in the office? Oh, seriously? The cigarettes behind in the office. Fuck. He's mad. He's got an addiction. What's this? Weird valve handle. I don't remember it ever being here. I missed a phone call. It might have been important and someone is probably going to come in to check on me. I better, I'd better get busy from what I recall. There are six bodies occupying the freezers in the freezer room. A routine checkup is in order. I still got a few more hours to spend down here until my shift ends. But when I'm done, I should also check on the decomposition process in the outdoor cages. Filing cabinet, was it in this one over here? That's what it was. I just don't remember which door. So it's not letting me keep those. I 
guess I can't go smoke. I gotta go check on this. Let's see. On the bodies. The freezer room. That's where I gotta go and find. all sweaty. happens if I leave the freezers open that are occupied. If it's in like the program or something that I won't let you continue on. the uh, empty ones was supposed to be occupied. Let's see. Eight, three, five. Thirteen. Eight, eleven, thirteen. 
15. I don't know, I can't read the numbers. <sighs> to match with this right here on the journal, it says A3, A5, B8, 11, 13, and 15.
phone to report this immediately. Body bag has been removed from the freezer. When and how did it happen? Did someone enter the facility while I was sleeping? Must have been that annoying Norman. But then again, he was supposed to be on a long leave, which is partly why I've been assigned to work double shifts. I need to report this immediately, or I may end up getting blamed for this shit. No, I should call the administration now. funny but i don't who the fuck is that camera on the shutter clicking I can't away deal with that bullshit right now where's it coming from the phone line is dead and this shift is getting very strange i'm hearing unfamiliar sounds coming from the far side of the morgue a body is missing and strange objects just appear out of nowhere but i'm sure there's a logical explanation time to investigate where these noises are coming from where am i going there. during an autopsy and to document the process of decomposition. It has a bright flash attached. That's the missing body bag. It's now on the autopsy table. If this is Norman's idea of a prank, I'm gonna fucking kill him. Well, at least I found it. So that's one less thing to explain. But I can't s shudder. Was something must be must on here? I don't know. Let's see. The camera shutter was triggering itself. Something must be going on here.
Moonsaws. Where the hell am I? Well, shit. This is not the storeroom. So that's cool. through my mouse there. I almost did it. <laughs> what am I looking for? The fuse box. Don't get it. The fuse box seems okay. Let me try the emergency lights. I don't understand what's going on. The fuse box seems to be fine, but nothing is working. I need to switch the emergency lights on. I think that's... it's the orange switch. Hopefully all the emergency lights are working now. I should locate my medication quickly. The emergency lights are on. They don't provide much illumination and only operate in small parts of the facility. But it's better than nothing. Now that I can at least see where I'm going instead of groping around in the dark, this is a good chance to go and grab my medication. It is kept on the cabinet in the office. Get through this. This 
my medication. I'm praying all these strange things will stop happening, but I've got a creeping feeling in my gut that this madness is here to stay for the night, so I'm screwed.
push six and it doesn't do anything. So maybe I'm just meant to carry it.
have to try that again sometime when I know how to actually take the medication. Because I think that was the biggest issue was that would have probably helped my sanity and made it last longer. <laughs> mm. But that should be all I got for tonight. I will have to find a couple more and then put it on the schedule. And whenever that is, I'll let you guys know. Yeah, I was probably pretty close to the end. I can't remember if it's a... It said it was a demo, but I was pretty sure I purchased it. So... Keep an eye out for the, the next one. See ya.